What if we were about to go on a journey to an evolving, never-ending virtual reality war zone? This is 5 Bizarre Theories About Ghosts of Tabor. The year is 2042, and the eastern side of the world ain't doing so hot. A local group of militants, Volk, have staged a coup to overthrow the Russian capital. After a successful takeover, war was declared on the world. Why would a group of bandits from the Russian countryside declare war on the world? Two words, human experimentation, or so they believe. NATO hired a coalition of special forces to move into the AO and gather intel. However, after a surprise turn of events, Volk militants managed to lay siege to what could be the Western Force's home base for human experimentation known as Tabor. Two years later, a nuclear bomb was detonated on an outlying island of Tabor, revealing the Advance Edge Human Research Lab. Now, this triggered a chain reaction of high-tension, faction-based, scavenger-style survival. Now that you understand the backstory, let's dive into the theories about how this whole thing came to be. Western forces are correct. Volk have wrongfully overthrown the Russian capital and are now on a one-way ticket to terrorist town. Convinced their mission is ethically correct, Volk puts up a tough fight to the special forces team ghosts who are deployed in the area. After being nearly eliminated, the remaining ghost members are a private military organization hired by NATO who refuse to leave Tabor for fear that Volk may succeed in their mission of strengthening Russia to the point of taking over as the world power. This theory is strengthened by the fact that a nuclear warhead recently went off in the area, but no nation has laid claim to it, hinting at a nefarious natured attempt to eradicate the Western forces from the AO. In order to prevent the world from falling into a dystopian Russian militaristic communistic future, these brave warriors fight for what they believe to be ethically correct, which is stopping the spread of forced ideology and oppression of freedom. Volk has it right. US and EU nations have been experimenting with the human genome, and in a gruesome way. Innocent civilians of Russia, now known as Phoenix, have been subject to inhumane experimentation for years. Far from the technology of the West, these civilians are only permitted to view what their government will allow them to view, eat what they are allowed to grow on their own land, and know what their government will allow them to know. The Russian government gained substantial amounts of wealth by allowing foreign adversaries to set up shop on their land and then covertly test new medicines and technologies on the men, women, and children of this Slavic town. The experiment's purposes could have ranged from things such as new cancer treatments all the way to deep gene splicing and cross-species trade experimentation. Such experiments could have involved artificial enhancements such as bionic implant trials with deep brain stimuli research. After uncovering this dark truth, the truth bearers then banded together to form an alliance with an understood purpose to stop the unethical manipulation of the natural order for personal gain. Things seem to be going well for this merry band of misfits after taking over their nation's capital. However, the surprise detonation of a nuclear weapon left them scrambling for supplies, each other, and the truth. They continue to defend the fragments of evidence that they have, while also desperately trying to decipher the answers that they so desperately seek. Volk has been aware of human testing for some time, but they've been working on collecting evidence against their own government and the Western world. After informing the locals, the Phoenix, they quickly changed tunes from concern about civilians of the homeland to recognizing the value in the research being conducted. The strongest army in the world could be formed from the advanced humans the lab was working on. After seizing control of it and beating their own homeland's army, they realized they could take the Western forces head on and potentially become the strongest political power in the world. As a show of force, the Volk detonated a nuclear weapon in the nearby vicinity and failed to push out all ghost operatives. They continued to hold the lab and the adjoining areas as their own as they attempt to pick up where the Western researchers left off. Any attempts so far to take the facilities back have proven foolish as they are a strong force who have everything to lose. The nuclear explosion on the coast of Tabor was set off by Phoenix. After years of being subjects of the world's most dangerous military research experiments, they have had enough. For years, Phoenix has plotted their attack, keeping their heads down and out of trouble. 
Eventually, a soldier from one of the Western nations wandered too far out of the research facility in Tabor. Seizing the opportunity, the untrained, ill-equipped civilian army disabled the Ghost Guard, stole his uniform and his credentials. They then used his weapons to kidnap several other Ghost soldiers. Afterwards, they used these credentials to gain access to the top-secret government research base and pose as authorized personnel. Once on the inside, they made their way to the NATO meeting room and demanded a nuclear warhead be launched on their position. With more wealth and research on the line than dollars in the entire NATO countries combined, they decided to oblige the request of Phoenix. However, set the trajectory of the nuke such that it would land just enough away from their research base to not completely destroy their work. In the world's most deep cover mission, and with the understanding that there would be friendly casualties, NATO forces sent a special team unknown to the Ghost to deliver a nuclear warhead to the beaches of Tabor at the behest of a Slavic civilian army who took control of their own lives again. All parties were innocent entirely. The US and EU nations were not experimenting on the human genome in Russia, nor were Russian government officials undergoing some sort of NATO-backed plot to increase Russian wealth and Western power. Volk forces got it all wrong, and in fact, the conspiracy runs much deeper than that. In the vein of the Libokarmste forest, Chinese government officials secretly manipulated the entire world into fighting each other. Once Chinese leaders scouted the best location for remote operations, they sent surveillance drones to help choose where to set up what became known as the Advance Edge Research Corps facility. After beginning to subdue the entire population through water poisoning and eventually chemtrailing, the Chinese sent a special team of secret operatives to create the new home of human experimentation. After word got out that Volk believed experimentation was occurring on Russian soil, the Chinese quickly evacuated the nation, leaving Volk to blame Russian government officials and falling straight into the delicately laid out chessboard that China prepared. Oh, hey, hey guys. All right, so this has been five theories about Ghost of Tabor's backstory. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much, guys. It takes a lot of work to make these. And if you're not a subscriber, then why are you still here? The video's over.